all right from our previous video and keep in mind these have been kept outdoors it's wet rainy uh, it's been a week almost two weeks since we shot the other videos <clears throat> when it's rust jelly it turns silver it's sort of turned a greenish yellow um, but I can't say that well there's a little bit of surface rust on there right around the holes right around here it comes off here is the uh, rust fix the spray the rust oil spray and um, I can't see any reoccurring surface rust on that now with the uh, pour 15 that we used on the bed uh, with the iron skillet I didn't want to use any chemicals I wanted to keep it natural which is why I started with the water used the onion and it worked out pretty good although I'm not 100 percent happy with the onion thing um, it did work pretty good it took off that red oxide color and turned a little bit black um, but the salt scrub really got more than uh, I expected as well and uh, we're gonna season that up later and it'll be right as rain what I'm gonna do is this was a piece that I uh, originally did the to about here I did the whole thing in rust jelly and you can see it didn't work that great uh, and then the end cap here is rust jellied and then I did the uh, rust stop spray the rust oleum spray and you can see that stuff works pretty good you can see how dark it is there what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom end of it now that hasn't had any treatment with it and the other remedy I found that would be good if you're worried about chemicals or using it on food issues especially like iron skillets really is apple cider vinegar is supposed to do a pretty good job so I'm going to leave a link to uh, hot rod uh, is doing a pretty good uh, selection of rust removal and that was one of their main concerns not for non-chemical for eating purposes but they wanted the average weekend home guy that was doing some rust removal project not to worry about the stuff that he was rinsing down the street drain uh, after it rained or you know after he washed the project so they have all uh, low VOCs or no VOCs and they're trying the molasses one and stuff like that interesting read it's about a seven page article that they did on this old car and they um, you know they sectioned it up they did a great job and I'll leave that link down below um, also leave a link uh, one of the uh, survival to prepper guys um, I think that's his name gosh I hope I'll annotate it uh, he sent me a link with the rust bullet and I used rust bullet uh, on a buddy's truck and it just seemed like it was thinner than the poor 15 but their independent test that they did on the rust bullet video is was fantastic and poor 15 came in third uh, over their product and uh, pretty interesting but with that I also got a couple emails to go over exactly what I do with the rust or the uh, poor 15 so we're gonna take this other untreated angle iron piece here and I'll do a video step by step with the poor 15 but for now I'm going to uh, take a couple swigs of apple cider vinegar and uh, cut the top off and we're just going to put this in there and uh, start monitoring it see how it works all right this video is going to be for a reference of a long-term test uh, obviously the rust jelly was not meant to be a rust inhibitor uh, it was a rust dissolver but um, this one was the one that was on for 24 hours before it got washed off that is going to be number one I also have a scribe line through it also to see how the bare metal underneath um, reacts very similar to the rust bullet um, only we're going to just going to leave this sit outside in uh, eastern Oregon which is not a very rainy or corrosive environment but that's all I've got for this test number two is going to be the one that we um, actually put the uh, uh, rust stop uh, the rust oleum spray I believe it was duplicolor spray on there uh, test three is where it got rust jellied and I put a score where we sprayed the rust oleum or sorry the duplicolor rust stop over the jelly but this end is going to be where we're going to put it in the vinegar and dissolve it four is going is has been untouched so far but four is going to be the one that I demonstrate the poor 15 products all right stock bar number three into apple cider vinegar it is 2010 it is October 30th uh, 218 and uh, we're just gonna leave it in and 
I'll periodically check it and we'll see how it goes. But uh, once we get these all together, then we'll uh, start the long-term test. All right. Now this has been sitting overnight. I'll show you my watch here. It is the 31st of October at 12:42. A little less than 24 hours. I'm just stop knocking it over. Let me put the button on up here. Holy cow. Um, let me wipe that off real quick. Holy cow. That is unreal. Had to bring you out into the sun. It dissolved all the rust down to bare metal. Better than the rust jelly. Better than anything I've tried so far to actually get the rust off. That is 100% bare metal. Unreal. That really has just blown me away with the apple cider vinegar. I should have used that on the uh, skillet and uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll degrease the skillet again and throw some apple cider vinegar in there. That's unreal. What I decided to do with the number three test here is the uh, brush on rust-oleum hammered finish uh, thicker than the spray uh, we're gonna put that on this end on uh, I'll probably cover both the bare metal finish and then the slightly rusted finish and come up to here there's the 415 uh, one curing and uh, when they're all said and done we'll bring you back and alright boys and girls I got all four bar stocks done and their treatment down here. This video is going to be serving as a reminder to what we did to which bar stock. Uh, bar stock number one had the navy, navel jelly put on for 24 hours and then washed off and because it's not an ultimate treat and I wanted to treat everything with a top coat of paint or some something on there. Uh, so with that we were testing the Rust-Oleum truck bed spray. That is bar, everything got two coats by the way. That's bar stock number one. Bar stock number two was the one that was just used with the Dupacolor Rust Fix to neutralize the rust. And because of that, uh, I wanted to put a paint that wasn't a, a rust paint. So I just chose the that Fusion Krylon Ultra Flat. Uh, same thing I put on the outside of the truck, so that'll be a dual test for it. Um, but this is the Ultra Flat Black one, since they'll all be black. And also got two coats there. Bar stock number three is a little bit special. Uh, this got the uh, rust jelly right here. Over the rust jelly, I put the neutralizer. That will be remained untouched and opened. On this side, we did the um, apple cider vinegar, which I will have to redo the video I just did of the um, of the iron skillet because that works amazing. But instead of using a thinner spray can of the Rust-Oleum paint, I used the brush-on hammered version of the hammered Rust-Oleum, and that also got two coats. The fourth bar stock uh, has the all treatments of the Pour 15. And so the Pour 15 got the degreaser, the metal etcher, and then the Pour 15 in two coats over the top of it. And we are going to uh, score each of these. I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to score a line on each of these after they cure. Um, and then we're going to set these outside in the Central Oregon um, environment and uh, just leave them there exposed. And we'll come back and maybe I'll check them periodically and if I note any big changes then I'll make a video. Otherwise we'll probably come back in a year I'm saying. I think we should leave it a, a year. There you go. On your mark, it said go. Start the timer.